Hey James and Juliana, um, today is Monday the 1st of February, and sorry for my not the best appearance, but um, I just got out of the shower and wrestling and all that. Um, this also probably won't be that high up the caliber as I'm just very tired today. Um, but I would like to uh, read for y'all. I'm going to make this private, uh, private video until it actually happens, but I'm going to read my 8th grade speech for y'all, uh, so y'all can... Uh, hear it without actually having to be there. Um, so without further ado, A Tale of Two Sons. Brothers, we bond together, we discover together, we live together, and most of all we get on each other's nerves. My brother and I are 11 years apart in age, so some of the average brotherly things we never really did. We didn't spend all that much time together and never really bonded. That is, until it was too late. And he'd moved away to uh, Illinois, and we only were really able to connect through phone calls, and even those were quite rare. But one Christmas, I received one of the, what I see to be greatest gifts I have and possibly will ever receive, and it was in the form of a camera. Um, I was a bit confused at first, uh, um, and I didn't really understand what was going on, considering I already had a camera, albeit not the best. Um, and all my questions were answered through a video that you, James, had put up uh, about how you wanted to start a YouTube channel together. and. We started a YouTube channel called The Wade Brothers, and we made a deal that we would have a deadline each a week to post our video, and it could be whatever we want as long as it was between two and around five minutes. Uh, I've obviously gone, but beyond that, if uh, either of you, uh, if either of you two have watched half of my videos. Um, these could be anything I wanted, as long as it included one of us. We were finally bonding together. From that day, we posted videos every single week, for the most part, um, and learned more and more about each other. And we felt like brothers, not just two sons. Brotherhood is more than blood. It it's being able to rely on one, one another and having a sense of camaraderie. My brother and I both know that we all w would always be there for each other, e even before the videos, but that still isn't everything. A brotherly bond means that you truly know the person, not just a persona or a general outline. You know their true feelings, not a shell of the person we all show on the outside. What the kind of connection the other person has is just a friend that you truly don't know. A work that has greatly influenced me in writing this speech is, well, a game called Brothers, A Tale of Two Sons. This shows a great bond between two brothers that don't even speak English throughout the entire game. It's a made-up language, but one is a younger one, wearing a red shirt, and the other one's older and bl wearing a blue shirt. You go on in this very long and extensive adventure until, well, at the end, there's what a lot of people refer to as the scene. And to avoid spoilers, let's just say... It's quite unexpected and, well, um, quite heartbreaking in some ways. Um, they all, uh, I should probably clarify that the two brothers are going on this journey to save their father, who is greatly ill and needs this special thing from a magical tree. A brother is a part of you. And that's what Brothers, A Tale of Two Sons, really shows. They share so much with you, and with you, um, and, 
and brothers are there with you from your birth or their birth, but the role you play in their story is not without conflict. Brothers fight. It's a simple truth, and you will not always agree on something for one, I begged and pleaded my brother not to force me to finish a punishment I had to do on camera, which was to dance. Because, uh, well, um, as most of you know, I'm quite an atrocious dancer. Though I may have deserved the punishment, it was still hard to put up with. And my brother and I have argued about a lot of other stuff, but the point is that we still understand each other. No matter how hard we aggravate each other, or how badly one is mad at another, we always eventually make up. Though sometimes I do disappoint my brother. As punishment could have easily been evaded if it weren't for not following through on one of our videos. I let him down, and worst of all, I did it multiple times, but every time you forgave me, you forgave me. A bond like that is not something to be taken for granted. Being a brother also means to forgive and forget one's mistakes. So I'd like to thank my brother for always believing in me and forgiving my mistakes. Though my brother and I don't always get along and are still quite distant location-wise, we've never been closer. And I'd like to leave a message to each of you that have a sibling. Don't make the same mistake we did and wait till it's too late to connect, because it's not worth it. Feeling as if you're a stranger around your brother is one of the most gut-wrenching things I have ever felt, and is something that should never be experienced. Keep that bond you have alive, and if there isn't one, I urge you to create one, because it is much better to have a friend, a comrade, a brother, than to just be one of two sons. So that was my speech. Um, sorry, I kind of went off tangent and off the actual speech, which is why you probably saw me get lost, but I just wanted to add in a few bits that weren't already in there, and I'll add those in, don't worry. Um, but I hope you enjoyed. Uh, sorry this wasn't about you, Juliana, but I thought it was only, um, right that for James to do his senior speech, I think you did this at least, uh, about me. Might as well do my 8th grade speech about him. Uh, so I hope you enjoyed, uh, hearing this, uh, this also doubles as the mandatory uh practice mom and dad are making me do every single night so uh see you thursday james and juliana see you saturday